Hey folks, my name is Metal Fernando and I'm a product manager in the Microsoft security team. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the Microsoft Zero Trust assessment. Microsoft publishes extensive guidance on how you can configure your tenants for increased security. However, manually checking your tenants configuration against this guidance can be a time consuming task. To help with this, we have published a PowerShell module that will help automate the assessment for you. Let's see how we install and run this assessment. We begin by installing the PowerShell module. Once you install the module, we can sign into the tenant by using Connect ZT Assessment. Now, the first time you run this, you will be asked to consent to these read only permissions. This requires a user with a minimum of an application admin role or a global administrator. You'd also see a second prompt to sign into Microsoft Azure. Once you signed in, you can run the assessment. The user that runs the assessment needs to belong to a minimum of a global reader role. The assessment can take anywhere from 20 minutes in smaller tenants to 24 plus hours in very large tenants with thousands of users. Now, when the report finishes generating, it will automatically open the report for you. The report will provide a high-level summary of your tenant, and it also shows the number of tests your tenant passed against the total number of tests available in the assessment. Now, you might see a different number here based on the type of licensing that you have in your tenant. The report provides a high-level overview about the zero trust health of your tenant. The first chart shows the authentication methods configured by privileged users in this tenant. You can see there's a mix of passkey and Windows Hello for Business usage, but you can also see privileged users using weaker authentication methods like phone and authenticator, and some privileged users not having any MFA configured. The report also looks in the sign-in logs to show how conditional access is applied to the different sign-ins and it shows the percentage of sign-ins that are not protected by any conditional access policies versus ones that have CA and the mix of MFA and non-MFA being applied. If you scroll down below, you will see the sign-ins for all users in the tenant, and it also shows the number of sign-ins that are coming from compliant devices versus non-compliant and unmanaged devices. The report also provides an overview of your desktop devices in your tenant, including the status of their interjoin and whether they were compliant or not compliant. A similar view is available for the mobile devices as well. The identity and devices tabs provide detailed information of, of the tests that were carried out against your tenant and gives you a summary of which ones passed and the ones that failed. You can then click through to view a detailed result of why a test failed. Now the recommendation in this check is for application certificates to be rotated on a regular basis. And it displays a list of all the applications and service principles where the certificates have not been rotated in the last 180 days. The report also provides what the remediation action is for the test. You can then click through directly from here into your portal to address the issue. Now in this case, the fix would be to delete these certificates and secrets that have a long-lived expiry and create new ones with a shorter expiry. For each test, the report also includes the risk level, whether it's a high, medium, or low, the impact to end users for making changes to this configuration, and the effort required for an admin to change these settings. You can also enable additional columns here, like minimum license, that display the minimum license required for each test. I hope you found this useful. Follow the rest of the videos in this series to learn about the Zero Trust Workshop.